This program is brought to you by Emory University. You know, we really don't know the precise biology of massage right now. But what I can tell you is this. Even in normal individuals, we're able to decrease the production of, of stress hormones. We're able to decrease the production of, of arginine vasopressin. We're able to decrease the production of cortisol. And we can show that both in the saliva and in the blood. What we've also been able to demonstrate now is that repeated massage has an additive effect. But when we studied people that we gave massages to once a week for five weeks, and those that we gave massages twice a week to for five weeks, they looked different from one another and different from the con con control condition. And what was really interesting is that long-term, once-weekly massage continued to have profound effects on the immune system. And these effects were additive compared to the first massage. And but twice a week massage, we lost the effects on the immune system, but gained even larger effects in terms of increasing oxytocin, that hormone that's been associated with feeling good and affiliation and and bonding with people. Decreasing again arginine vasopressin, which is more of an aggressive related hormone, and decreasing cortisol. So once a week and twice a week we're very different. The other thing that's important to, to acknowledge is that this work was funded by NCAM, the National Centers for Complementary and Alternative Medicine. And the only way that we're going to discern what goes on with complementary or alternative treatments is if an impartial funding agency like the federal government is involved in investigating whether or not there are true biological effects or beneficial effects associated with these types of atypical um, interventions. And what we have to do is be able to accept the fact that there be maybe many, many different ways of helping individuals. Going all the way from changes in diet and exercise and nutrition to complementary and alternative approaches that have been rigorously studied, to conventional pharmacotherapy, to some of our newer innovative approaches with neuromodulation. All of this is necessary for getting the best care possible to our patients. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.